set. You ready? Ready up. Let's go. What do you say? Okay. Crack up on three. One, two, three. So Mikey, how do you think the team looks this year? I think the team looks really good this year. I think that we have a lot of talent. I think that we have um, really good chemistry between everyone. I think that um, the linemen are gonna have a really fun year and a really good year. Um, mm -hmm. We got a good core group of kids coming in. Um, and we got, you know, receivers, and we got Patchy at quarterback, which is uh, going to be uh, really fun, going to be passing the ball a lot more. Um, so I think that we're going to have a, a really good year passing, and we're going to run over people. So I think overall it's going to be a good year. Um, I'm excited about our secondary. I think we got some really nice people in there, including myself, uh, such as Alan Dawson, Chris Rogers, Austin Allen, other people that have a name. But many of us, I think we have a lot of speed in the secondary, and I think we're going to make some crazy things happen. And also, we got Coach Troy, who's a great coach. I think it's just going to you know, put some things in there. We're going to probably do some big things. What do you think about preseason? Preseason was very interesting coming from the South in North Carolina. I've, all, I've been in summer workouts since about like early June, anyways, until about like when school ended. And the fact is, coming here and then we had just bam, 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 just three practices a day was, uh, was pretty rigorous. It was a little bit different than the South Carolina. What's this year? I think this is one of the most talented teams I've ever played on, even coming from Georgia. It's been, we got a bunch of skilled players, a bunch of guys. No, I think it's, we're going to be pretty good this year. Hope to do big things. Team looks so far. I think the team looks really good. We got a lot of good additions to the team this year, a couple PGs, a lot of young upperclassmen ready to step up, so we're going to have a very promising season. What are you excited about in regards to the team? Um, I'm just excited for the amount of talent that we got and you know everybody is willing to work hard and improve their craft and I'm learning learning every day so I'm just excited and ready to play. What are you excited about regards to the team? Uh, just the uh, team chemistry. Uh, everybody sort of gelled and you know it's created a, like one unit and I, I really look forward to seeing them play together as a unit and, and being successful. What do you think about preseason overall? I think guys got after it, they worked really hard, and as a result, we got better, and I'm looking forward to seeing that translate to the opening uh, game of the season. How do you like Cheshire Academy so far? Uh, I love it. Uh, they've been very uh, opening, open and uh, receptive of me, and I, I embrace this community as it's embraced me, so I, I love Cheshire so far, and look forward to being here. Like I want to say, I want to thank Coach Dykeman for uh, everything over the past couple of months. Um, I decided to come to Cheshire solely because I was looking for like a team, family, um, family. So I had aspirations of playing D1 football. And the coach that told me I couldn't play told me I didn't have the talent. Um, he said I had the work ethic, but he said I didn't have the talent. He said it wasn't realistic. So like me hearing that as a freshman. I was like, oh, I'm not good enough. I decided not to. Decided to, you know, just take it easy and kind of fall to the back. First couple of weeks, I played JV. Then uh, one of our starters was a PG, 19 years old, committed to Syracuse at the end of the season, but he tore his ACL. So, like, I had to grow up, and I stepped up, started playing my freshman year. It was crazy. I was playing out there with 19 year olds. First play I remember I got in. Ran a slack, got my head knocked off. <laughs> Today, I didn't think that's what a team should be about. I thought a team should be about, you know, making sure the next person behind you is getting better, uplifting that person, you know, seeing somebody's tired, saying, come on, let's go, let's get the next rep, we can get through it. And I feel like that's what I have here. This preseason, even though it was short, I felt like it was one of the hardest preseasons, but at the same time, it was one of the easiest, because, like, I, I consider everybody in here, like, to be a brother to me. I know there was times when we did the conditioning test where I was tired, 
I was just trying to push everybody, so everybody was pushing me. And I know I know this team could be great. I know that I think we're the best team in Connecticut, hands down. So, like I said, I was just trying to push everybody. Everybody was pushing me. And so I decided to transfer to Cheshire Academy because Coach Dykeman kept preaching to me, you know, we're a family here and you have to buy into the culture of Cheshire Academy. That's that meant a lot to me. So when I came, I'm just happy to be here and I love you and everyone here and I appreciate having you as teammates.
I didn't wanna go to heaven anyway. Rich off a mixtape, got rich off a mixtape Probably shouldn't be driving, it just got so much harder Can't even see it straight, I can't even see it straight uh, With me, I buy the shots Live a little, die, die a lot And lie a lot, but I'm the truth, that's right, that's right, I said it The living proof that you ain't gotta die to get to heaven You, girl, you right there, you look like you like this shit How'd I know, how'd I know, that's me on some psychic shit I could tell a lie With fame on my mind, my girl on my nerves I was pushing myself to get something that I deserve That was back in the days, accurate days I was a cold dude, I'm getting back to my ways People always ask how I got my nice things Take my crown to the grave, I'm on Trying to be like, so I drop out This week in practice, there was there seemed to be a different energy as we were getting into this game because it's the biggest game of the season and everybody has a sense of urgency and the uh, coach was on top of us and right there, we did wrong and corrected it and uh, it was very up tempo. We got a lot of work in a short amount of time that we got to practice, and I felt like we prepared well for this game and we were coming out ready Saturday night. Me personally, Southfield is, I never want to lose to Southfield again after losing my last year. I'm wondering why my career is in Southfield and I don't want to lose the next two games in the tournament this year. What does this game mean to you and two teams? Um, freshman year, uh, we, we were down by, I think, at least 30 points at the half, and we made a remarkable comeback. Um, it was 44-43. Um, Suffield didn't have lights that year, so we were basically kicking a field goal in the dark. We couldn't see anything. Um, I thought the field goal went in. Um, we, it was it was a very tough loss. It was one of the best games I've ever witnessed in person. But sophomore year we came out strong. We basically handed it to them, and uh, last year. This year, I just want to get um, the game that we lost last year back and get some revenge on them. How did this week's game plan vary from other weeks? You know, I don't think the game plan varied, to be honest. I think, you know, you look at it, and the goal here is we've been at this thing for a while, and we got to be crisp with what we do. Um, I think the 
game plan this week is, is to secure the ball. It's to utilize some of the weapons that we have um, and take care of business. It's, you don't change things for a team. You know, we adjust based on you know, what they're going to play. You have to do it. In order to beat Southfield, you have to do what you have to do every single week. You can't turn the football over. You have to tackle. You have to do the basic things that make football great. You have to hold on to the ball. You have to not allow big plays. You know, that's no different every week. This week, that's the same. We can't allow big plays. We have to tackle. And we have to hold on to the football. We have to take advantage of opportunities when we have them. We ended up being undefeated, and we, we just came out. The team, the team knew that they, had, they needed to have a sense of urgency. They knew how important the Southfield game was. Because if they lost, they weren't Colonial League champions. We, I don't, I think the last Colonial League championship that we had um, was 1960, which was the last undefeated season that this school had. And that team that I was on, we, we knew what we had to do. We knew what had to be taken care of. And we came into the play. That's what we got to do this week. We got to, we lost, we, they smacked us in the face last year. And basically, we need to come out tomorrow. No holding back play. Like every play is the last. Like sense of urgency. Because we might not have a nine game season. We have an eight game season right now. If we lose this, there's a very likely chance that we not, might not play in a bowl game. Um, and we went into this week, everybody was talking self field week. Everybody got a different energy. There was different energy practice talking about self field week. It was different than any other game we played this year. It was better intensity on the sideline, better intensity on the field, coaches a little more hyped up, and it just feels like we're playing a college game and we're playing a and my freshman year I think we beat them 36 to 12, and everybody watched the field, and again, we beat them in a few years, and it just, it bothered my mind school about how the team was breaking it, and it takes a long day, and then that year we went on the end of the during your season, that, that's what you build up to be five. Stuff you, that's what you train for all in the off season. We break stuff off in the, in the off season that beats up here. And that's what we've been thinking about since last winter. And we've been working hard all season, building up for the game that week, but also in the back of our heads, building up to be five for stuff here. And after last season, they walked off that field. I had an attitude that I didn't want to lose the stuff for the rest of my career. It, it hurt me.
Right? The amount of games they've won. The amount of accolades that they've had. Okay? All they've done is continued the traditions of Cheshire Academy football. And I think, and I know, the thing you'll say is they've left this thing even better. And there's a lot of you young guys that are better for having been around these guys. Whether they've been here for a year, whether they've been here for three years, four years, Six years. So I love all you guys, and uh, you guys are always a very special place in my heart. And uh, it was an honor and a privilege, and shoot, the most fun I've had in a while was getting to play with you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, and say, but thank you for all that you've done in all these years. And I hope that sometime in the future our paths will cross again. Thank you. Football's always been there. You know, it's it has, it's like a second family. You know, it makes sense. Probably the best friends you ever have. One quick advice, um, tip. Not, if you have all the talent in the world and the best players on the team, that doesn't mean you're going to be the best team. You have to have great team chemistry. You have to have a great family bond. And those are going to be the most successful teams. I just want to thank you guys. I appreciate you guys um, this year and this season, you know, all the coaches and you know, every player. Um, you know, I, I really want to thank you guys for the continuous love and support throughout the whole season. For my fellow seniors and uh, the PGs, uh, good luck next year um, on whatever you choose to do. Uh, and, uh, let's, go kick the, let's go kick the shit out of Canada. <laughs> It's real simple. You got two more quarters and that's it. Now most of you have been playing this game for 10 years. You got two more quarters and after that most of you will never play this game again as long as you live. I want you to take a moment and I want you to look each other in the eyes. I want you to put each other in your hearts forever. 
Cause whatever is about to happen here in just a few minutes. I got my fans in the stands, my team on my back, my family in my heart, I put my city on the map. See, I'm cool with my school, but I know I can do better. I checked the mail yesterday and not one college letter, not one college offer after all this hard work. I'd be telling you a lie if I said it didn't hurt. So how do I stay focused in this game called life? And do I have a fair chance when this world's so shite? See, we all pay a price. I got some things on my mind, but I need to read. Gain my focus cause it's game time Give all, leave nothing In the end I gotta choose Clear eyes, full heart I can't lose Start right there. Okay, let's get a break right here on Matt Torrey. Get your stuff. Make sure nothing's on this field. Yeah, One, two, three, three. Yeah.
off in Connecticut of all places. Some great quarterbacks we've seen come from there. Let's show our stat star right here. This QB put up over 600 yards. That's Patrick Kehoe of Cheshire Academy. He connected on 35 of 47 passes for 642 yards, eight touchdowns, and a 70 to 20 win last week. That is a major stat star. All right, Chris, as we. Yeah, I'm doing it. One, two, three, yeah. Yeah.